Catherine, Catherine, wow, she's not only motivating you guys to ask questions, she's asking questions herself. See, she puts her money where her mouth is. I like this. This is really, really good. 20 bucks. Catherine asked, have you heard of Breen Brown? Unfortunately not. What do you think of her quote, vulnerability is the birthplace of love, belonging, joy, courage, empathy, and creativity. It is the source of hope, empathy, accountability, and authenticity. I don't know what that means, and I'm suspicious of it. What does it mean to say you're vulnerable? It means that you, I, I, I don't know, right? I'm not sure what they mean by it. I would put it differently. You need to be connected to your emotions. You need to be aware of them. Allow yourself to feel them. Don't hide them. Don't repress them. Don't ignore them. Let them bubble to the surface. Feel. Feel them. And only then evaluate them. Only then are they appropriate in what context. And if that's what they mean by vulnerability, that I actually feel, actually feel my emotion, then yeah. And again, I don't think that's the birthplace of love. It's necessary for love. It's not the birthplace of love. The birthplace of love is a, a, a matching of values, of sense of life, of, of certain very deep values. But you've got to be able to feel. You've got to be able to emote. You've got to be connected to your feelings. You can't experience joy unless you experience joy. <laughs> experience it. Feel it. Not intellectually. Emotionally. And particularly objectivists, but particularly Americans, we tend to be repressed. We t you know, Christianity teaches this. You tend to not connect to your emotions. Emotions are sinful. You're not connected to your desires. You're not connected to who you are. So a big part of being authentic, being real, and having values is it goes back to know thyself. Know thyself in the sense of experience your emotions, know your emotions, know their source, where they come from, and what they are. Uh, so I hope that answers, Catherine. Um, but, but again, I don't know what she means by vulnerability. Yeah, and, 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 and look, the, you've got to be careful because your emotions can lead you astray. They can be false signals. You can fall in love with the wrong person. You can feel things that are just not suitable for the circumstances. And if that happens, again, you need to be self-aware enough to think about it, figure out why, what evaluations are you making that are wrong, and get back on the right path. Fix it. Correct for it. Right? Not easy to do. But, you, you know, don't just let I'm feeling my emotions. You know, don't become an emotionalist, which means the primacy of emotion. It's always the primacy of reasons. Emotions are not guides for action. They're not tools of cognition. They don't. They tell you about your own state. They tell you about your own responses. They tell you about your own values. That's why they're powerful means by which to know you. They don't tell you about what you should do about the about, about it all. Yeah. Okay, follow up. Question from Ali. What about empathy? My ex-wife, lack of empathy and being in touch with herself made it impossible for her to feel loved. I mean, empathy, again, empathy is so mixed up with altruism, right? So mixed up with altruism. Most people, when they talk about empathy, they want you to feel somebody else's pain. And because you feel their pain, you have to help them and you have to sacrifice for them and so on. And if you don't sacrifice for them, oh, you have no empathy. 
Empathy is just the ability to read your own and other people's emotions and to be able to sympathize with what they're going through. If somebody's suffering, the ability to say, the ability to, to feel in a sense, particularly, particularly if it's somebody important to you, the more removed are the with this, this happens. Yeah, I, I, I feel bad because they're suffering. I get that they're suffering. I understand that they're suffering, not just intellectually, but emotionally as well. But empathy is nowhere near, and, and again, you've got to be in touch with your own emotions, and that will allow you to understand other people's emotions. But again, other people's emotions should not be what drives you. Your own emotions should not be what drives you. It's how we experience life. Emotion is a beautiful thing, but they're not the determinants of our behavior. They shouldn't be anyway, the determinants of our behavior. Hopefully that makes sense, Ali and Catherine. Let me know if you have any follow-up on those. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.